I love the crew. What are you doing? It's your boy Basement M4. I was looking for something to say. I can't. I can't say that. Now look. Today we got one up T lose lose. Look, I fuck with one up T heavy. I fuck with one up T heavy. I don't think I got a one up T reaction on here though. So look, this is gonna be the first one up T reaction on this channel. Uh, we got lose lose the official music video. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Let's get right into it. That mold is fucking my brain up. I'm trying to tell you. If you think you see me, then your visuals is laced. Nigga, he should have had a nigga at the end. One up team really got that stuff for the for the soul though. Like, like he got the he be saying real shit but making it sound crazy. Ty beats, turn me up in the headphones. Okay, Ty, turn me up in the headphones then. Lace visuals. What you lace with? No matter what you do, they always gonna have some shit to say. So nigga, do you? Nigga, that is your reflection. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Nigga, that is your reflection. God damn. Your jeans is stronger than a bitch. And I know he's a sweat at whatever game he's playing. I can tell by the way he's gripping his controller. He has the posture of a gamer elite. He is a young Fortnite playing demon nigga. You see how he has the his neck, his neck. Like, he, he just, like, the slouch is just... The curvature of the slouch. Listen, bro, I'm trying to tell you. You niggas think I'm not even trolling, bro. That nigga is a gamer. Do you? If you broke like the school rules, they gonna try to hug you. They gonna say you need some new shoes. If you walk in school and your shoes new, they gonna say you spoiled. They gonna call you Silver Spoon Goon. You can't win for losing. It's a lose lose. You can't win for losing. It's a lose lose. See, he's already saying real shit. He's already saying. Listen, the thing about these, he says real shit every song, bro. He don't miss. He don't, bro. Sorry, fuck what I'm talking about. Look at the snacks this nigga has on his table, though. These aren't regular snacks. This is the za of snacks. These are exotic snackeries. You can't just go to your regular corner store and get these. This is Trader Joe's type snackery, my nigga. Where did you get these? They gonna say I'm lazy, I'm a slob if I ain't got a job. But if I work, they say I settle for a nine to five. If I go and cut the slut, they say I wife the thigh. But say I'm immature if I care about her body count. Trip about what your bitch do, they say you insecure. Let your bitch do what she want, they say you simping for her. Good, good grades and go to school, they say that kid a nerd. But they call you dumb if you ain't never did the work. You don't support. Oh, he's saying real shit. Now listen, the the nine to five part, there's really a there's a method to the madness though. The nine to five part, there's a method to the madness. Look. If you, if you got it, there's nothing wrong with a nine to five. I have plenty of nine to fives. I don't have one right now. I, I did have one. I, I did have one before the semester started. This is the first time in a minute I haven't had a nine to five. Look, you can have a nine to five and, and you can have like, like this YouTube shit. I'm gonna have a nine to five and I'm gonna have my YouTube while I'm trying to get my YouTube going crazy and limited crew we have next. I'm gonna have the YouTube on the side. So that's not settling. You know what I mean? It, you gotta, you gotta find, you gotta find a middle ground. Work for somebody else and work for yourself until you're able to provide by working for yourself. You know what I mean? There ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It, this, there's just something wrong with just being broke, nigga. Like, there's nothing wrong with work trying to work for yourself, but if you broke, not putting no money on the table, then you gotta try to do both. And if it takes all your time, if it takes the whole time of your day to do both. If you got to spend nine, 10 hours at one job and then eight hours working by yourself, nigga, you only got six hours of sleep. Get back to the grind. That's all it is. It's either you want it or you don't. Some niggas want it more than the others. T speaking that real shit. Nerd, but they call you dumb if you ain't never did the work. You don't support, they say you hating and you self-centered. If you support, they say you dick sucking the head giving. They always pop up talking shit like they Tourette's twitching. Fuck your opinion, I don't care about what you said, nigga. If she let niggas hit, they say she jumping dick to dick. If she don't let a nigga hit, they say that bitch a kid. If he spend money on this bitch, they say that nigga trick. If he don't spend it, then they say another nigga will. Move out your hood and get some paper, they call you Hollywood. Stay in your hood, they say leave before we pop you up. If you make it, they say damn, brody, don't forget me. If you don't make it, they say damn, I forgot bro was living. If you get Bro, T is, like, he's hitting every point. He's hitting and every nail on the head, bro. He's hitting every nail on the head. Because I already know, I already got niggas right now. I got niggas, bro, I don't even have 2,000 subs yet, bro. I don't even have 2,000 subs yet. Niggas is already saying, don't forget me. Is that not crazy? Is that not insane? Like, my nigga, you're a fiend. 
fucking, you're horny at that point, my nigga. Can, can, can I, can I make it first? Like, what the fuck? What you want me to do for you, my nigga? Niggas, niggas is trying to pre-order tickets. Like, what the fuck? What do you think this is? Like, what the, <laughs> you can have pre-ordered tickets to the M4 show, to the Unlimited crew. Like, what are you doing, buddy? If he don't spend it, then they say another nigga will. Move out your hood and get some paper, they call you Hollywood. Stay in your hood, they say leave before we pop you up. If you make it, they say, damn, brody, don't forget me. If you don't make it, they say, damn, I forgot bro was living. If you get jumped and then you shoot a nigga, you a crash dummy. If you don't fight back, they say you got your ass bullied. Fuck the comments, niggas love to gossip like a black woman. Niggas got low self-esteem, that's why they try and act funny. Girl got a rich man, they say she want his rubber bands. Girl got a broke man, they say she need the upper standards. If you talk low, they gon' tell you they don't understand you. You talk louder, they gon' ask you why the fuck you yelling. If I flash money, they gon' say that I'm a lickin' sweet. If I don't show no money, they gon' say you finished, T. When niggas envious, they get to saying anything. They gon' say something either way, that shit don't get to me. Nigga. No what you do, they always gon' have some shit to say, so niggas Salud, you. you. Oh, it's out there. Gonna say it's a lose lose. I think gonna say it's a lose. They gonna try to haul you. They gonna say you need some new shoes. Hey, hey, but here's the thing, though. There's a middle ground to everything that he said. To everything he said, there's a middle ground. If you get jumped, if you get jumped and you pop one, okay, my nigga, you might just be. Well, no, that's self defense, first of all. If you get jumped and you shoot a nigga, that's self defense. You just gotta shoot him while you're getting jumped. You can't go fucking purging for niggas. You 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 can't go purging late night and catching niggas shooting through their crib and shit. You can't do that. If you if you got it on you and you shooting while they're jumping, you're not a crash dummy. But let's say you didn't have it on you and they jumped you and you tried to fight back. If you ain't run and you tried to fight back, you ain't get bullied. But you ain't crash out either. You nigga, you held your ground. You took your L. Nigga, you just gotta catch a one one on one. You gotta get your one on one. Same thing with with uh. He said he said if you date a rich nigga, you you, you for his money. If, if you date a broke nigga, what the fuck is you dating a broke nigga for? Data nigga, that's your income. Is it the mold talking? I just feel like, I just feel like that's common sense. I, I'm not saying that's what you got to do, but if you want to avoid niggas talking about it, like what can they really say? You dating a nigga that makes what you make. What the fuck? Half the time people just be bored anyway. They just be dick riding, creating their own problems. If you really think about it, they don't be having problems for real. So they just, they just go out and create them. Oh, why the fuck is she dating that nigga? He broke as fuck. Like what does that have to do with you? You're single and poor. And your head got mad dandruff. Like, what is we talking about? If you walk in school and your shoes new, they gon' say you spoiled. They gon' call you silver spoon goon. You can't win for losing, it's a lose lose. You can't win for losing, it's a lose lose. Shit. I fuck with this. Hey, T, T did his thing on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. T did his thing on this. Look. Look. Overall, in conclusion. Without further ado, I, I feel like I feel like this is a great song, and I feel like the the topic was very important, right? But here, this is some real shit. Fuck what people just talking about, bro. Just do you. That's what he's saying. At the end of the day, that's what he's saying. Just do you, because someone's always gonna say something, bro. Regardless, you can have a, a hundred thousand subs, you can have a million subs. You see, Mr. Beast. You see, Mr. Beast. He put a he put a what he what he do a hundred wells in Africa. He he put a hundred wells in Africa. Niggas in the comments talking about some out. Oh. Why'd you record it? Oh, you should have did a thousand wells. But nigga, how many wells did you do? How many times did you say donate one dollar? You seen the donate a penny commercials to Africa. You seen the donate a dollar commercial to Africa. I guarantee you, you came up off no bread. You came up off no bread, but Mr. Beast is a bad guy for putting a hundred wells in Africa. Nigga, are you drunk? That was the that's the proof. That's all the proof you need. The proof is in the pudding. Look, unlimited proof. You niggas know what to do. I'm yapping. One up T, cuz snapped on this. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here.